Assalamualaikum friends. In this video, we are going to discuss about the pressure analysis on the valve. Just check the static structure analysis. Initially, we have to need to specify the engineering data. Just make a double click on the engineering data. Go for the library or engineering data resources. We have to select the material based upon your requirement. I just select a general material and add the material to the library which I can utilize for this valve. I just select a grey cast iron and then return to the project. Then we have to import the geometry. I just have a model on SolidWorks software and save in a step format. Then go to the graphs and specify the file location as a STEP format of the valve then click OK then make a double click on the model it will take a few seconds for starting a mechanical window Now the updating process is going on. Our model is successfully inserted here. Just go to the design tree and select a geometry, drop down list and select our part and specify the material as a grey cast iron which we add in a library and then make a general mesh on the component. Now the machine is successfully done in the wall. This is a wall body. We have to analyze the pressure here. So go to the static structure analysis settings. We need to give the support for this valve. So in this valve we have a three supports at a concentric circle phases. These are the three phases which we have a support. Then go to the hydrostatic pressure. Here you can apply the fluid density and magnitude as per your requirement. First we need to select the phases where we want to apply the hydrostatic pressure. Select all the faces to apply the pressure. And click apply. Space for the fluid density. Make sure you have specified the approximate density of the fluid. If you specify the fluid density as abnormal, it cannot generate a result like this. You have to apply the direction of flow or applying the pressure. I just selected total deformation. It cannot generate a result because I have a irregular data on the flow direction of the valve. So I have So it is difficult to apply the hydrostatic pressure in this 
inner face of the web body now the hydrostatic pressure is successfully applied here For this magnitude and density of the fluid, it cannot affect the component. So just apply the pressure load on inside the wall body and set the corresponding faces inside it. After selecting the all faces, just select apply, then specify the magnitude of the pressure. I just apply the two pressure. And specify the solutions, total deformation and equivalent elastic strain. Now the result is successfully generated it will show a total deformation and equivalent one mass stresses you can check it through the animation video To get the regular updates of my video, please subscribe in my channel. If you can't do subscribe previously, click the bell icon to get a regular notification. Inshallah, we will meet in the next video. Thanks for watching.